Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to our today's lesson. Uh, we are still discussing uh, the light microscope and today we are going to learn about how to use the light microscope. Uh, to use the light microscope uh, requires a procedure and uh, this is to make uh, the use of the microscope effective and also to give the learner uh, accurate results uh, while carrying out uh, experiments involving uh, examination of specimens. Now, the first thing uh, is that uh, the learner should place the microscope on the bench with the stage facing away, with the stage facing away. So that is the first point that uh, you should place the microscope on the bench. with the stage facing away from you. Uh, this one is very important uh, because when the stage is facing away from you, you do not obstruct the light. So you should be on the side that has the arm. And then on the other side, uh, the stage should be away. Uh, the other thing that um, uh, the user of the microscope should make sure uh, that he or she does is to make sure that the diaphragm is fully open. The diaphragm is the one that controls the amount of light that is getting to the condenser and hence the stage and therefore should be fully open. Uh, number three, after ensuring that the diaphragm is uh, fully open, adjust the mirror. while looking through the eyepiece to ensure that there is enough light. On the stage, so you adjust the mirror while looking through the eyepiece uh, to ensure that there is enough light that is getting to the stage. And then after confirming that there is enough uh, light that is getting on, onto the stage, uh, whatever you see is what is called the field of view. So this allows the learner to observe a clear field of view. So make sure that you have a clear field of view even before you place the specimen. Number four, place the slide containing the specimen, place the slide that contains the specimen on 
the microscope stage. You place it, you place the slide that contains the specimen on the microscope stage at that point. And then, also while looking through the eyepiece, while looking through the eyepiece, adjust uh, the mirror again to make sure that there is enough light that is going through the specimen. So, while observing, through the eyepiece, adjust the mirror, to ensure that enough light reaches the specimen. The next thing that I should follow after making sure that now there is enough light that is getting uh, to the specimen is using the low power start always start by using low power objective lens so using the low power objective lens adjust the course adjustment knob to bring the image into focus. So while uh, you are adjusting the course adjustment knob, I uh, always make sure that you are using the low power objective lens until you get a focus of the image. You place the image or you bring the image into, into focus. Then number seven, turn the fine adjustment turn the fine adjustment knob to bring the image into sharp focus. So remember, the course adjustment knob is to bring the image into focus so that you can be able to view the image. Now to make the details clearer, to make the focus sharp, then now you use the fine adjustment knob because it moves the body tube over very small distances, over very small distances to make sure that uh, the image is very clear. After getting a sharp image, draw the observed image of the specimen. So at that point, you can go ahead and draw the observed image of the specimen. Then after that, after you have drawn the, the image, now change from the low power objective lens to medium power. So change to medium power. Objective lens. Adjust the course adjustment knob. and then the fine adjustment knob.
and then also draw the observed image of the specimen. So we have observed the specimen now for the second time, but now using uh, uh, the, the medium power objective lens. Then, the last step is now to use the high power objective lens that we have not used. So change to high power objective lens and only use, only use the fine adjustment knob, only use the fine, do not use the coarse adjustment knob only use the fine adjustment knob to bring the image into sharp focus into sharp focus and draw uh, a point to note why is it that we don't allow you to use the course adjustment knob when you're using the high power objective lens. So the high power objective lens is longer, is slightly longer than the others. So if you turn it on using the course adjustment knob, it will touch the lens of the condenser and it may break, note that. And it's because it is usually longer compared to the others. And that tells us why we only use the fine adjustment knob when we are using the high power objective lens. So that is the point to note that the high power objective is longer and therefore if using the course adjustment knob it may break it may come into contact with the condenser's lens and break it so that's why it is important to note that so basically what we have seen is the procedure of using a microscope. You need to use that procedure step by step. Make sure that the stage is facing away from you. Make sure that the diaphragm is... So basically today we've uh, studied the procedure of using a light microscope. We have said you make sure that the stage is facing away from you. Then you make sure that uh, the low objective uh, lens is clicked into position. Ensure that uh, the diaphragm is fully open. Place the slide containing the specimen onto the stage. After placing uh, the slide, adjust the mirror again to ensure that enough light reaches the specimen. Using the low power objective lens, which we have mentioned earlier there, adjust the course adjustment knob to bring the image into focus. Then after that, we turn on the fine adjustment knob to bring the image into sharp focus. Then we draw the observed image of the specimen. After drawing, now we can change to medium power objective lens, adjust the course adjustment knob again, then the fine adjustment, then after getting a sharp image, we draw. So we only draw when we have obtained a sharp image of the specimen. Uh, then finally, we change to high power objective lens. 
and make sure that this time to only use the fine adjustment knob. And the reason for that is because the hyper objective lens is longer and if moved over a long distance it can come into contact with the condenser's lens causing breakage. So we'll stop there and uh, we'll have this assignment for today. So we'll have two questions in uh, our today's assignment. The first question, explain why it is not recommended to use the course adjustment knob with the high power objective lens. Number two, what is the role of fine adjustment knob during focusing? So we'll stop there for today. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.